Hey y'all, welcome to a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. And what I got for you today is a brew out of Nashville, Tennessee by the Bearded Iris Brewing Company. Um, I've had a few beers by these guys and whew, they make some good brew. And this is one that I've never tried. Um, it's thoughtfully brewed and canned in Nashville, Tennessee by Bearded Iris Brewing Company. Um, it is called the Chief of Chiefs Double IPA. All right, this stuff is a 7.5% alcohol by volume. Um, let's see, it says on here, Ultimate Bold Juicy. Boss up, boss. Join this hazy battle royale of Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops for apex notes of ripe berries, zested citrus and tropical fruits all right so that's what it says on the can here now i gotta tell you y'all this stuff's expensive um i i, I give almost 16 bucks for a four pack of it so I, that's four dollars for this this can but 7.5 percent abv um i've enjoyed everything i've had from these guys so it's something i wanted to try so i just went ahead and bought the bullet and bought a four pack of them um so we're going to try it today on a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday. Now, I would like to shout out my subscribers and followers. I want y'all to know that I love and appreciate y'all. Um, I'm not monetized, y'all. I don't make any money from doing this. I've been doing this for, you know, over three years now. Started in 2019, so I mean, I've closed four years, I guess. Um... I just love beer. I enjoy making videos. I have a 12-hour work schedule that I work every week and uh, 12 hours a day, and I have limited time to do these, and I just enjoy doing it, and I gotta make them when I can, so I don't rehearse these. I don't rehearse these. I don't do a lot of research. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. I just kinda gotta come out here and give you my honest opinion what I think of these brews that I do. If you like what I do, there's a little beer mug right over here that you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, every week. I've been doing it for, like, like I said, close to four years now. Trying different brews. I do revisit sometimes. I do some hard ciders. I do some trash beers, some stuff that's not necessarily beer, but it's something you can pick up at your convenience store that's an alcoholic beverage. I do some of those. I just do a lot of different things, and I just appreciate y'all watching. Leave me a comment. Hey, if you like what I do, just say, hey, appreciate you, whatever. Say you're a goober. I don't care. You suck. I don't, I don't care, man. Just leave me a comment. I love to hear from y'all. Most of my viewers are, are fellow beer reviewers, and I hear from them quite often. But I'd love to hear from some of the others that, that watch my videos. Let me know that you're out there. I'd love to hear from you. So we're going to try this Chief of Chiefs from the Bearded Irish Brewing Company today on a Tennessee Thirsty Thursday. Man, that's a hazy brew. Dead gum, look at that. Mmm, mmm. Oh. All right, y'all, so <laughs> I poured it a little too hard. The head was about to get away from me, so I had to take a sip of it. Usually if you take a sip of a beer, you can't really appreciate the aroma, but I'm gonna try anyway. And, and I'm getting a mild hop aroma off the head, but the, the flavor of the head, man, dad gum, it's got good hop flavor in the head. So it's got three different hops in it. It said uh, the Citra Mosaic and Simcoe hops. All right, so I don't know about the ripe berries. It said something about ripe berries, but I'm getting a little bit of a citrusy note out of the out of the flavor of the head, and also a good bitter finish in the head, which I expect out of a double IPA. That gummit, I expect to have a good bitterness in it. Um, and it's look at that beautiful hazy brew, just a beautiful gold color. The head's nice. 
These are 16 ounce cans <coughs> out of Nashville, Tennessee. And, and you know, another reason I don't mind spending that $4 for a can is because, I mean, that's a local brew. Nashville, I consider it a local brew. Nashville's about maybe an hour away from me, considering traffic and stuff. By the as as the crow flies, it's probably about 30 minutes away. But after traffic and everything, probably take about an hour to get there. But I consider that a local brew, and I love supporting my local breweries, man. I, Tennessee's got a lot of local breweries, and there's still a lot that I don't know about in Tennessee. But I'm always searching. <laughs> Now, whether or not I could, I mean, even though if I was to look up local breweries on Google or something like that, I could probably, you know, find a bunch of breweries, but finding their beer is a different story. Um, I happened to find this one in my local liquor store here very close to me. So I was like, you know, I'll fork out that extra money to, you know, support my Tennessee brew and to try something different. Uh, most times I got to go down to Murfreesboro to find something a little bit different. Uh, I can find uh, a bunch of different stuff down in Murfreesboro. World Market carries stuff from all over the world down there at different times, so I always like going there. But when I can find something at my local liquor store, that's just freaking awesome, y'all. <laughs> Chief of Chiefs double IPA at a 7.5% ABV. So 7.5 is is a uh, you know a little bit low on the double IPA alcohol scale, but um, gave a can a good swish, got the rest of it off in there. Bearded Iris Brewing Company. That's your Bearded Iris right there. <laughs> hey, this is for all American workers. I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way. Not depending on our stinking, gross, idyllic piece of crap government. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Oh. oh, man, that's delicious. That's got a good bitterness to it. Man, don't tell me on here what the IBUs are. That gummit. I wish more beer, especially craft beer companies, would put the IBUs on the can. That would be really convenient. Um, this has a nice bitterness to it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's probably about a, a, a anywhere from a 65 to an 85 on the IBU scale, right in that area. That's what I'm gonna guess. Um, this is a good brew. I love bitterness in beer anyway, uh, and this has got a nice crisp bitterness in it. The flavor of the beer itself, all right, so tropical fruits, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some tropical out of it. I'm getting some tropical, I'm getting a little bit of citrus. Ripe berries, I'm not getting. Um, of course, I don't know what that means, ripe berries. Are you talking about raspberries? Are you talking about black, blueberries, blackberries? I mean, I've got blackberries, that, wild blackberries that grow on my property here that I get. I'm not getting any, any kind of fresh berry type flavor at all. Strawberries, no. I'm not getting any kind of strawberry flavor, nothing like that. So ripe berries, I don't know what that means. And I'm not really getting any of it anyway. Whether, whether I'm comparing strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, uh, dingleberries. <laughs> anyway, um, but it is a good brew. I, I, I do like I do like this brew. Um, it's got a delicious flavor. And it's easy to drink. I just really in particular like that bitterness I'm getting in the finish. And a double IPA, I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of bitterness in it. Uh, Oh wow, wow this is a fresh brew. All right, so, uh, wow, y'all. All right, so today is actually July the 30th when I'm doing this video. This stuff was brewed on July the 12th, or canned anyway. It's got the date of July 12th, 23. 
And it's also got a name on here, Sarah Marinara. Sarah Marinara. So, hey, Sarah, if you were uh, involved in brewing this brew, very good job, Sarah. Uh, uh, this is a good brew. I'm, I, I can't score it anything less than an A. Um, and I mean, to me, it's just delicious, easy to drink. Got that bitterness that I expect in a double IPA. The, the alcohol volume is a little bit lower than what I really like in an IBA, a, a, a double IPA. Um, but, I mean, 7.5 is, is, is plenty. But for a double IPA, I expect a little bit more than that. Um, anyway, still a delicious brew. I'm going to score it an A. Uh, Chief of Chiefs from Bearded Iris. Now, is it worth 16 bucks plus tax for a four-pack? Probably not. It's probably not worth that. I mean, that that's pricey, y'all. But the flavor of it is very good. And uh, uh, for me to support one of my local breweries, I'm happy to give that for it. All right, so this right here is a double eagle. It's a double eagle. It's from the, the, the tra Old Trapper uh, Peppered Double Eagle Beef Jerky. I got a canister of this stuff. From Amazon. Man, I love this stuff. Alright, so I'm a beef jerky nut. I love beef jerky. But peppered beef jerky is my preference. And this stuff right here, I consider it old school because it's chopped and formed. I don't know. I just love it. And it's got a terrific flavor. I originally gave 18 bucks, a little over 18 bucks for this from Amazon. I got just a little bit left. I'm going to get me another canister of it. Hell, it's done gone up $5. It's 23 something now. But you know what? When this is gone, I'll get me another one. It's really good. Anyway, um, if you get a chance to try some bearded iris, Chief of Chiefs, or hell, for that matter, any of the bearded iris brews, give them a shot. I've enjoyed all of them. They've been really good. And man, that pepper beef jerky, little shot of double IPA. Good stuff, y'all. I mean, good stuff. All right, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow for a Friday's R for you. I got a couple of beers due for Friday and Saturday that are out of uh, Asheville, North Carolina, from the Green Man Brewery that I found in my local liquor store. <clears throat> I found them in my local liquor store. I can't really find Green Man a lot. I've found a couple of Green Man's in Murfreesboro, but I found these in my in my local liquor store, y'all. So I'm going to be trying them uh, Friday and Saturday. Y'all stay tuned for that. I love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers. Oh, that is good. Mm. And that is too. Mm.